Hi, I'm Nick Ott, owner of Packsack Canoe Trips and Log Cabins out here in Ely, Minnesota. Packsack is a complete and partial outfitting business. We've also got a small resort with three lakeside log cabins on the shores of Fall Lake. We really specialize on our personalized customer service with our canoe trips, whether it's with our complete outfitting to make sure that all their gear is completely squared away and that everything is working fully functionally. And then if they're outfitting themselves, we really try to make sure that they haven't forgot something. Or, you know, you know, we try to provide them with all those little bits of information that's going to make their trip the most successful that it can be. We try to do as much as we can to help those customers out getting out into the wilderness. We've got three bunkhouse rooms upstairs, a smaller one, a little bit larger one um, for about 12 people, and then we've got a really big room that we like to put our uh, nonprofit groups and, and bigger groups in. We've also got showers here. We've got a couple of smaller shower rooms and one large shower room. It's a nice place to go before a canoe trip. You don't have to uh, spend a lot of money to stay here at Packsack. Folks that want to come in off, out of the wilderness and clean up a little bit after you've been spending, you know, five or six nights on a thermo rest and sleeping on a rock, we've got a nice foam pad for you to sleep up here. A little bit more comfortable. So I've got three lakeside log cabins here on Fall Lake. They are housekeeping cabins. There's two bedrooms in each cabin. And then there's also a futon, so the cabins will sleep up to six. There's a full kitchen in each of the cabins, bathrooms, the, you know, the cabins come completely set up, ready to move in and have a good time. It's a pretty special place to stay. You know, I mean, you're, you're staying in a place that has a lot of history. Our cabins originally were sitting up on Pipestone Bay, um, right along the falls there. After the Wilderness Act was initiated, the three cabins that they did take apart, they moved to our current location here and set them back up, and they've been there now since uh, the 1960s. A lot of folks that come up and visit our cabins are up here because they want to do day trips into the Boundary Waters. Guiding that we do is with our tow, tow boat service, and that's where we're taking people and all their gear, um, putting their canoes on top of the tow boat, and we take them up to um, Basswood Lake. So we've got a couple of different setups for boat and motor rental that we do here on Fall Lake. Um, you know, there are some boats that have wheels that sit along the sides and then drop into the water. Those are called drop-down wheels. And then we've also got wheels where you kind of have to get a couple of guys at the front of the boat, lift it up, and then um, slide the set-under wheels underneath. And then everything gets strapped down and across the portage as you go. You know, we do certainly provide, you know, transportation services um, in and outside of the Boundary Waters as well. If you want us to, like, take a car up to Mudrow and then take them up to Moose River North, we pretty much service every entry point from Crane Lake all the way to Kalishwee Lake and everything in between. We do a lot with nonprofit groups, groups like the Boy Scouts, groups like the Girl Scouts, um, church groups, veterans. You know, we do a lot to make sure that they have a good trip and that it's affordable for them to be able to come up here. The reason I'm here every day is because I want, I'm ready to serve somebody. That's the, what we enjoy the most here, is working with our customers, talking with our customers, and, and, and just getting them ready to come up here and enjoy a good time at Packsack. Mm -hmm.